Hey, and welcome back to the Sunday Slap. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Courtney, and this is... Bruna, hi. This is Bruna. Yeah. Bru this is Bruna's first time on the Sunday Slap, yeah. so... I am not Kit, sorry. She's not Kit. And the goal of this show is to give you a really quick, entertaining look at all the biggest stories in the tech industry. So this is going to be a really, really interesting episode because Google I.O. just finished. Actually, Google I.O. is still happening right now, but most of the big announcements just finished. And uh, Google I.O., for anybody who doesn't know, is a the Google's yearly conference where they kind of release all their biggest product announcements and... Uh, uh, loads of really cool shit happened. I have to say that at this point, I mean, I know a bit, oh sorry, I know a bit about Google I.O. and I'm like, they should already start calling themselves like Google AI. Just that. That's true. It was very AI, <laughs> AI heavy. Yeah. So Google have been working on, and, and you saw probably over the last few Sunday slaps, Google have been working a lot on AI and they've been, you know, investing it load into AI technology. But what they showed in this Google I.O. was some really practical, crazy cool examples mm -hmm. of how this is going to work. And I want to show you something uh, kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. So oh let's, let's so take excited. a look. Let's yeah. take a look. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call oh seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. So the thing yes! on the left, that's, that's, that's Google? It. That's a robot. That's like AI. But that's so, it's so realistic it's so as real. well. It's yeah. really realistic. It could and be it, me. It's so cool. Imagine if you just like, so that's the first time where I think like these home, like the Google Home and the Alexa thing. Imagine being able to say, hey, Google, uh, make me an appointment. I mean, that's what he just said. Google, yeah. make me an appointment on May 3rd for a haircut. And wow. that's all you need to say. And then watch how the assistant actually deals with the real person on the other end. Okay. Sure, give me one second. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Let's mute the phone. <laughs> Let's mute the phone. <laughs> this is me. At 12 p.m. So 12. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is at 1 p.m. you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m. It's crazy, like the contextual, it's actually contextually figuring out what the other person is saying yeah. and then remembering what you told it, the okay. kind of parameters you gave it, but yeah, it's it just, it's crazy. There's a really interesting one up here as well. Mm -hmm. So this is, by the way, this is called Google Duplex. That's what the system is called. And it's all about natural language. Now, what if it's a really, really complicated situation, you might wonder. So here's an example of um, Google's assistant calling a Chinese restaurant. Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday. The, so the person calling is Google and just this the voices the are ridiculous. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You, listen, okay. this is the Chinese awesome. restaurant. <laughs> for seven people? So, um, you saw that the person on the other side didn't understand? Yeah. He said, yeah. I want like, okay, so. It's for four people. Oh, four people with um, Wednesday Can you, at 6 p.m. I am, I am very impressed that they are even adding, um, yeah. It's, it's so weird. It, like, and also the fact that the, the person on the other side didn't get what he said. So like, it was like, oh, four people or seven people? No, no, four people tonight? Yeah. No, no, seven, like, so yeah. it has to re repeat everything and it's still and working. And without losing its cool. It, yeah, yeah, because I'd be like, ah, right. yeah. <laughs> shit, you just said. <laughs> um, let's have a look, look, look at this. Yeah. Oh, actually we live here for like, upper like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? That's crazy. So this is interesting. It's already yeah. going on another tangent. Like this is... Ugh. I know, I know. It's very scary. <laughs> For next Wednesday. Uh, the 7th. <laughs> uh, the 7th. Yeah. <laughs> so just... Oh, no, it's not too busy. You, just, you can't come for people, okay? Oh, I gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this was like a bit weird. It was answer, weird, yeah, yeah. Super it fun. sounded weird, but for sure, like it's still ridiculous. So, I mean, if you think about this, right? Think about this, mm -hmm. like, okay, it's going to take a while for that to roll out properly all over the world and everything. Yeah, but still, but the level of it. What is the point? Like, the person on the other side who's having trouble doing this communication yeah. as well. And Matt, they're also going to be replaced by the AI. And the AIs are just going to talk to each other. You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of yeah, the, the, that other person picking up yeah. the phone? It's, there's, it's totally inefficient. There is and no, actually, no point. Let's just yeah. the AI people talk to but people. It's, it's amazing. These are the things you don't other. want to do. We live in Germany. I hate calling people in oh Germany because they're so rude. I don't want to talk to those How rude. You can blur that. Like, put beep that oh, no. but really like it's it's really really amazing i'm really excited about that okay so that's where google is going in terms of ai and i really love the fact that they uh, showed this small business example yeah so usually companies are like oh we're doing all this ai stuff but it's like here's exactly how that's working and it's a real recording it's crazy that now so, they can see so that crazy. it can help you so when the robots take over we're going to be oh I, at least i Great. could like do my haircut so that's I didn't true. have to talk to <laughs> at least nobody. i have a good haircut <laughs> yeah, because of them so yeah kill me no problem <laughs> all right let's have a quick look at um something else in the ai pile so mm -hmm. you know that gmail got redesigned um mm -hmm. and launched last week mm -hmm. there was one thing that they held back actually so this is something so we pre-announced mm -hmm. that gmail was going to be redesigned right on the sunday slap before it happened and now we're going to show you something that we did not pre-announce and we did not hear. So this is Gmail now pretty much able to write emails for you. Wow. So let's take a look at this. I mean, you don't have to talk, you don't Another have to write. Of, uh, one of our core products, which we are reading. We're just going to be sitting down, slurping something through a straw for the rest of the And pooping. And pooping, yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, I do that already. Designing with AI, so this Gmail. We just had a new, fresher look for Gmail, a recent redesign. Hope you're all enjoying using it. That's a bit loud. <laughs> We're bringing another feature to Gmail. We call it Smart Compose. Oh. As the name suggests, we use Taco machine Tuesday. learning. Okay. Jacqueline wants taco. Okay, go on. So, can you tell us anything about tacos? <laughs> no, because I'm Brazilian and I'm Damn Mexican. It. Damn it. <laughs> so, Taco Tuesday, the interesting thing about here is just so you know, it's not you can it's not that you can only talk about tacos in this. You can actually talk about imagine that they're like they're like, okay, the, the AI works, but only if you write Taco Tuesday. Well, something that I know about Americans is that they love tacos, yeah, so that tacos would be are, like tacos realistic. Are amazing. Yeah. To start suggesting phrases for you as you type. <laughs> That's cool. All you wow. need to do is to hit tab. You don't have to and write keep anymore. All completing. For, wow. for tacos. Yeah. But this is even if you don't have a taco request, it will do it. So even if you're like, hey, I want a, a, like a business meeting. Let's get together for tacos. Damn it. <laughs> There's some cool stuff so here. You bring chips and salsa. New already In to say case, that. It understands the subject wow. is Taco Tuesday. It suggests chips, salsa, guacamole. It, it takes care of wow. mundane the things the like address? that. Yeah, everything. Addresses. Oh my so, God. I heard someone in the audience going, wow. <laughs> wow. But you don't need to worry about it. You can actually focus on what you want to type. Yeah. You, do, you don't need to focus on what you want to type. He literally typed like three cent, like three words and it's like... Bleh. Yeah, yeah, just like taco, six o'clock, give it to me. So those are the AI things that I thought were really interesting from uh, Google AI. IO. Um, obviously the, the smart compose is, is slightly less interesting. But one thing I think that um, I really, really want to show mm -hmm. is that few months ago, I made a video. Oh, uh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> He's so proud about that. <laughs> this is so the video. Fun. And let's have a listen to, let's just have a listen to what I said at the start of it. Only 483 views. Jesus, so sad. But now it's going to be like one million. million. One million. Okay, listen to this. Here's a, a prediction, right? I genuinely believe that companies like Apple and Google, the platform holders, these are going to be the companies that are going to come along and have like a system level thing where they'll say, turn on detox mode. And this literally, it doesn't just switch off notifications, it stops you from actually going into Facebook. So I talked about that uh, these companies like Facebook, Apple, Google are going to try to help you use your devices less. And I go into a little bit more detail in that. And I thought Apple would be the first company to do it because usually that's the sort of PR thing yeah. that they would go for. Yeah, but Google uh -huh. just jumped right in there mm -hmm. with something called digital well not giving slaps. Oh! <laughs> it's all about 
giving slaps this show, isn't it? <laughs> okay. How many slaps, Lee Wilson? How many slaps would you give huh. Google's AI stuff? Well, I would love to give them like a hundred. Let's say that a hundred is like the maximum. But I am very, no, but I'm very scared that AI is just going to take over the world. I am one of those people that You're are very scared. So just like half, so just like 50. Half a slap, oh, 50 yeah. slaps. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's yeah. slap it out. Is that 50? Okay, so okay. let's watch this next thing. Let's get back to, now that we remember what this show is about, exactly. really uh, let's get wise. back to uh, digital well being from Google. <laughs> Come on. On a recent family vacation. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, he's going to tell that on a recent family vacation, his mm. wife told him to put his phone into a. Mm -hmm. She locked it in a lockbox because mm. she was like, You're just looking at your phone the whole time and you're not paying attention to us. And he had a really great week because his phone was locked away. And why I think this is really interesting is because Google is a company that makes money off you using their products for as much time as possible. Uh, yeah. And now right. they're coming out and saying, okay, we have this new dashboard. Let me just show you. One of the first things we focused on was helping you understand your habits. Mm -hmm. Android P will show you a dashboard of how you're spent. By the way, Android P is the name of the new Android software. Yeah. Just to okay. <laughs> yeah. it's like, what's this P? <laughs> for example, here's my Gmail data from Saturday. And when I saw this... So basically, it's um, built into the iOS, uh, to, to the OS now, yeah. where you can see how long you're using the different apps on there, um, how often you're using them, and what you can do basically is you can say, like, I only want to use this for this amount of time. Uh -huh. So before you had to download apps like Freedom and other things, and they wouldn't lock down the whole phone. Oh like, yeah. So this actually locks down everything and says, okay, You've been using this too much, we're locking it. Okay. And so you can kind of build in these things wow. to help you understand how much you're using it and kind of almost help That's you. That's great. I think it's really great that Google I don't need my this. boyfriend anymore because he's the one being like, get out of the yeah, phone, I get out. go It's the sleep. same with my wife. You're going to have Alzheimer's in like five years. Shared earlier. Now, understanding is a good start, but Android P also gives you controls to help you manage how and when you spend time on your phone. Maybe you have an app that you love, but mm -hmm. you're spending more... What's your favorite app? Ooh, Google Photos right now, for Google sure. Photos. Yeah, because I just traveled and came back. It's and really good. More time mm -hmm. in it than you realize. So if you're enjoying this show so far, make sure you give us a like and send, put a comment in the comment hole oh, yeah. uh, right underneath here. Let's get back to it. Do it. <laughs> So it has an app timer, nice. that kind of stuff. So what I else? have two things in mind, yeah. can I say? Yeah, I? of course. Okay. That's what the show is about. Apparently. One thing, it seems that then they just destroyed a bunch of startups or something because we were like, oh, there yeah. are a lot of apps. All <laughs> of those, like, oh. like that, that's exactly what I was talking about. All of those companies like Freedom and all they're of these like, things. They're like, we're f Yeah, they, they're f they are f they're, they're gone. Fine. That always happens though. That yeah. always yeah, the, yeah, the right. companies yeah. say... It's just life. Yeah. And second thing is that if Google gets the benefit of us being their phone for such a long time, what is the benefit for them right now? Okay, here's the thing, okay? Here's what I think, and that, that's what I, is in my PR? prediction. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus here, of tech. <laughs> here's what's happening in the industry in general. People are getting irritated about how much they're using products. They're starting to understand yes, that it's right. bad for your brain. Mm -hmm. And these companies, and what I was saying the last time is that, if these companies don't address it first, if they don't proactively do something mm -hmm. about it, then people are going to start hating them more and more yeah. and more. Oh my God, so yeah, really, it's right. so good for them yeah. PR-wise. The, the PR around this has been amazing, that people are like, people, why is Google doing this? They're so altruistic. Uh -huh. This is not about being altruistic. Yeah, this is a business decision, about. right? Got They're going to lose right. people anyway, yeah. so they might as well own it. Tell Google more. nailed it yeah. by doing this, seriously. Apple is Apple's f just, I th the Do Not Disturb is kind of interesting as well. Mm -hmm. They added a few more features that you can look at this your own at yourself uh -huh. later. One of the things is that if you take your phone yeah. and put it down like this, yeah. like flat, oh my God. Yeah. it automatically goes into Do Not Disturb. Oh my God, that's well. amazing. I already do that, but I'm always like, yeah, but what if my boyfriend, for example, wants to know where I am or stuff like that? Yeah, Just like an exactly. emergency thing. So that's what this is about, start contact. So you can, people uh, can come through with an emergency, which is kind of what the iPhone does oh, already, Google. but this is a nice, this is a nice way of um, actually putting that together. Here, let's have a look at this concept. last bit here. We heard from people that they often check their phone right before going to bed. That's me. And before you know it, hey, you look a bit different in this. <laughs> Maybe can we can put them side by side. I shaved today. <laughs> you look? I shaved. 
<laughs> an hour or two has slipped by. And honestly, this happens to me at least once a week. Same. Just Getting a good night's sleep is critical. And technology should help you with this, not prevent it from happening. <clears throat> so we created Wind Down Mode. <laughs> Hey, why, what is wine now? What is it? What is it? Why, why, wait, why wait, 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 wait. I skipped it. Alright, we've got to get back to it. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, let's watch it. Time you aim to go to bed. And when that time arrives, it will switch on Do Not Disturb and fade the screen to gray. <gasps> it's black and white. Grayscale. By the way, I read this as Hey Google, set wind down. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back. Oh, oh, it's stimulating for the brain and can help Wow, you that's amazing. It's so simple. Such a simple idea. Oh! But I found it's amazing Jesus. how quickly Jesus I put my phone away. Yeah. And all my apps go back to the days before color TV. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I'm not going to have Alzheimer anymore. No Thank worries. you, Google. That was a quick tour of some... So, basically, Google has totally owned the entire conversation around the whole uh, attention thing. I think they did a great job. I think what I really love about Google I.O. every year is that it's really, it's so, like, hopeful and fun and really, yeah. really exciting to be in the tech industry watching it. Whereas the Apple events, even though I have to say Apple's products are great, they're often quite cold and boring. So... Well, last thing, let's really, really quickly wrap this up. Oh, yeah. Yay! Let's do oh, wait, how many slaps are we going to... Google winding that. down or actually going and being proactive about your attention and not using their app so much. Well, because of that and also because I, I like the fact that this is only about strategy and Apple. So yeah, I would say like 80, yeah. 80 slaps. I would yeah. give it, I would give it 200 slaps. So it's like 280 80, slaps? Yeah. We add them up now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay, last, last piece of news, and this is for the designers out there watching our channel. Material Design has got a major upgrade, oh, yeah. and Material Design, for anyone who doesn't know, is the system that Google created five years ago, something like that, Matthias Duarte. Uh, maybe Shout you out can... for South Americans! Matthias! Maybe you can do that ridiculous zoom on his face again, Matthias yeah. Duarte. And really... put the Chilean flag, because he's from Chile. Yeah, you could also leave these bits in so that it's really sh**. <laughs> So, material design has been updated, they've done a load of work on it, now it's easier than ever for developers to make really custom looking apps. So one of the problems nice. with the original material design is a lot of apps started to look the same, yeah. and so people didn't want to use it anymore. Yeah. The biggest news about material design too, mm -hmm. is that you can completely customize it super super easy, and they've even created sketch plugins to do this. So wow, that's I'm not, interesting. Yeah, it's really, 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 really cool. Mm -hmm really really cool so it's super super easy the the tools are really really good i'm not going to go into a load of detail about it because you can definitely watch that yourself um later but just to say material design got a huge upgrade there's some great case studies on here on the materialdesign.io website cool. um, and i think there's just it, it looks great in my opinion and they've done a great job making it more useful and more attractive for developers Amazing. to use this system because Android has one of the biggest pro like Android is the, is the 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 like Google have problems with consistency within their products and and this is going to be a way to help them out help developers use at least the system and the theme editor is the biggest part of it where okay. basically you can you can see here you can take a theme and you can say okay this is you know these are my company's colors these are the fonts I want to use this oh is the types God. of rounded corners I want to use and you can just just apply all this is gonna save so much time yeah it's really really cool so this is a really big deal there's a couple of really great case studies so you can download that for sketch um, and it's only for Mac <laughs> I'm crying but it's happiness it's great yeah so that's really really cool material design how many slaps would you give material design oh my god all of them <laughs> all of I don't them. think we've ever come with, to a Mac so you need I'm to pick sure. a number big big number um five <laughs> five slaps let's go Thanks so, <laughs> thanks so much for watching the Sunday Slap. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, I spat there. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't before. And definitely leave us a comment in the, oh, in yeah, the underneath. And, and I guess what, what we'd love to ask you is, how many slaps would you give this year's Google I.O.? Thanks so much and goodbye. Bye. We have to slap. <laughs>